Yeah, recording is in progress. Hi everybody, um, today's March 27th and I haven't done one of these email or blog video things, gosh, since last summer. Uh, and I got this little thing on my computer, a uh, webcam, and I think I figured out how to use it. So I wanted to show you what I'm working on. I'm working on some new paintings. Uh, I'm going to be starting up the show season, if you want to call it that, in uh, the end of April. I'll do a show. I'll do a show at the beginning of May. Uh, one, one in Sturgeon Bay, the end of May, and then uh, June, July, August, September. I'll be doing more. You can see that on my calendar. Um, this is this is actually where I, I paint over here. This is one I've just been working on the last few days, and I don't know how well this is going to look on the on the website, but kind of shows you what a painting looks like when it's in in the middle of being painted. The white area is, is where I haven't even painted yet. Watercolor is a transparent medium, and you go from your uh, white paper to gradually filling it in. And what this is going to be is actually this is a, a sunrise in the morning, in the summertime. And um, these trees here, this is a big tree here with the sun just barely breaking through, will be very dark. So everything starts light, and I gradually add the darks as I go. And you can see I'm starting to put reflection in the road here which, of the tree which doesn't even exist yet it's just sketched out this is an 8 by 16 inch painting so it's a pretty small one but I really like the way it's turning out I'm having a good time with it it was one of those mornings where um, there is there's not a, a total cloud cover and it's not a clear sky either it's it's in between which actually yields some of the most interesting skies because the clouds uh, create a backdrop sort of for the Sun to bounce off of okay so that's one of my things I got so many ideas. Here's one over here that I'm, I just did most of the sky and some of the water, but it's not quite done yet. Uh, the, the sky and the water, everything else is still just white. Let me show you. In this case, I actually have a composite photo of the scene. And um, composite meaning I used Photoshop to merge two images together because it's a little too wide for one photo. There's the there's the painting. It's Obviously not even close to being done. Here, let me turn this other light on. See if that helps. And then there's the there's the photo that's my reference. <laughs> I gotta get used to this camera. There. Anyway, this one will be done hopefully uh, in the next month or two. <laughs> I would say stuff like that. Here's one that I also, as you can see, I've got all the skies done or almost done because I work in layers with the skies. There's a, a layer a wet into wet painting and I let it dry and then while it's drying I can go ahead and work on the next one and hurry up and do just a layer, let that dry and then go to the next one. So this is the painting, gosh I've been sitting on this idea for, I'm not kidding, it's like 10 years or maybe even 15 years. You can't really tell because it's just a pencil drawing at this point. Let me see if I can get this closer. How, I don't know how well this thing will focus. But this is a Gibraltar rock which is uh, in Sauk County. And it's one of the most beautiful spots, I think, probably in the whole state. And I was there at sunset. I ran up the hill. It's a really, really big hill. And I got the sun um, hitting this pine tree and the top of this rock. The rest is all in shadows. And then this is all farmland. It's about 500 feet up. It's going to be a great little painting. Also will become a print. I can't wait to see this one finished. And this is, uh, this is uh, what I do sometimes. Um, I almost always make just a quick pencil sketch, but um, sometimes I, I'm piecing together multiple slides, and so I draw it out a little bit more so I can see the whole thing, the basic values, the basic shapes. So this is a scene from last summer uh, in Door County. This is the lighthouse in um, Peninsula State Park looking out, out over Green Bay. I don't know how well you can see this, but this is just for me. This is just a piece of scrap paper. And this is going to be a great watercolor if I ever get to it. This is, I don't know how well it's going to turn out here. Because he's, I think that light's too bright. Let me turn that off. Yeah, that's better. Over here is the, is the lighthouse, and this is all the shadows. For me, a lot of what makes a good painting is not just, you know, a popular spot, a, you know, a, a nice location, but it's the lighting, it's the shadows, it's the general shapes of things. And in this one, I really like the shapes. Uh, especially I like these trees here because they're they're getting all this dappled sunlight and the ground 
is getting the same thing. A lot of darks and lights. And then this stone wall here is great. I was actually on this tour, and uh, you know the lady's giving a little tour, and there's a sign that says, stay here, don't go beneath this wall. And so while she went to show some other stuff, I hopped over the wall, and I took this. Uh, it's going to be a great painting. I'm not sure when I'm going to get to that one. Um, this is another idea that I just sketch sketched out. Something else I've been sitting on for a long time. This is a really cool scene. This little town in the uh, west of Chicago. It's I forgot the name of the town off the top of my head, but it's it's got very very strict zoning so that nobody ever adds modern buildings or modern street lights or billboards or anything. And I got this at sunset in the fall with beautiful fall colors. And uh, this is just again, a, it's a pencil sketch for me. It's not very detailed, but you get the general idea. You know, I can't wait to do this one too. This is going to be a good year if we can just get through the first half because it's always slow and financially difficult when I'm not going to art fairs. But um, that's just some of the stuff I'm going to be doing. I'm also going to do Bridges of Madison number four, and my goal is to have that one done by Art Fair in the Square. Gosh, I talked a lot. Hope you found this interesting. I'm going to have some coffee, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.